some people. If you're on the fence, not sure if you should do this or you want to get a tuner involved, um, I think it's beneficial for you to be able to have multiple tunes uh, and also the ability to go back to the factory tune at any time. So we're going to go through using the SET X4, that's the GM SET handheld tuner. And I'm going to put a tune on my Camaro. Um, you'll see on there I have several tunes on the handheld already so that we can flip flop between nitrous tunes and naturally aspirated tunes. Uh, I think it's pretty handy to have. Uh, it only takes about 10 minutes to put a tune on. So what I'll do is uh, I'll take you through step by step how to do it and uh, hopefully this will clear up some questions that people may have regarding tuning with the SET tuner. Um, you can get the software on the SET website, the live link to actually look at and create data logs. So I'm going to go through here and uh, next you're going to see the computer and exactly how that program works and about how long it takes. It does take a little bit of time for it to program that new tune up onto the tuner. gets hooked into a cable that goes up to the ODB2 port. Typically, I like to have everything off on the car. No radio, uh, no Bluetooth, so uh, we don't get disturbed when we're doing this. I will, uh, I'm going to turn off the Bluetooth on my phone and leave that out there while I'm trying to put a tune on the car. If you can, too, before you tune, I would say the best thing that you could do is um, use your tuner if you want. You can hook up and, and clear out any codes. I noticed uh, it seems to work better when I don't have any uh, check engine lights or anything. Again, like this that. is a Gen 5 Camaro 2010 SS. So I'm going to hook this thing up. Basically what you have here is a connector. It looks like an HDMI connector actually. And it goes into the top of the unit like so. And you'll see, you plug it in, it gets power, and you get to some screens like that. You can data log here. Uh, you can look at different settings. So w what we're going to do is we're going to put the tune on that we put on just a little bit ago okay 
you want to have your key in the ignition and the off position at this moment. So this port is always live. This is your ODB port that we're plugged into up underneath uh, your left leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to program vehicle. This moves. You can select whatever you'd like to do. So we're going to hit program vehicle. Center button is your enter button. And now you see you can return to stock, exit, or continue. We're going to continue. Okay, now it says to turn the key on. But don't start the car. Okay. As you can see here, I got a service tire to monitor system. So I'm going to just get rid of that for now. Just because I got my drag radials on. I don't have any TPMS sensors on there. So here we're going to go and hit continue now. It's going to come in here. It's going to look at all the different tunes that I have on here. Okay, so the one that we want to select is Nitrous 100 Octane Part 2. This is a slightly modified uh, tune that I got in today. This is the exact file that we put on a little bit earlier that you saw in the video on the PC. So. I'm going to cl click Nitrous Octane Part 2, 100 Octane. I'm going to go through and say Processing Data. Now if this was your very first time you're doing a tune, at the beginning you'd save the factory tune. But we've already done that. and. We, we, so we don't have to do that. So that would be the only thing that's a little bit different if this was the first time you were putting a tune on. Okay, here we're going to go back in and look at this. It says Nitrous 100 Octane Part 2. And then you hit Continue. Now it's going to prepare the data. It says Do Not Disconnect the Device. Position this up here a little bit better so you can see it a little bit better. Just be careful, don't unplug anything or don't turn anything off. I usually just sit here and don't even have the radio on or anything. Just uh, pay attention to what's going on. It only takes about 10 minutes and we'll be through this whole thing. So, right now it's preparing the data, so it's actually preparing the file that we downloaded earlier. Finalizing tune. I did have it hang one time at this particular point, finalizing the tune. Don't know why. I did have an error in the on the screen up there. Um, I did unplug it at that point and uh, was able to restart and get through it successfully. But once you get up to this point, I would not do anything. So right now it's unlocking the processor, the ECM. It takes a little while. You'll hear various chimes and beeps and see some different things on the dash. So as they come up, I'm going to try to show you those too. Sometimes you get like a stable track error or a reduced power error, but it all clears up in the end.
Okay, setting up processor. Writing ECM tune data. There's, there was a stable track error, engine power is reduced. This is normal, this happens every time. No need to do anything, just sit back and enjoy the show. Now it's unlocking the other processor. This will be the on the L99 or the automatic. This will be for the transmission control module processor. So you'll see it, it'll say programming TCM when it's going to that. It always does that second. First it does the engine control module, then it does the transmission control module. See, we still have the reduced engine power. There it goes, writing TCM tune data. I didn't want to cut any parts out or edit in between too much because I, I really wanted everyone to see how long it takes what the typical time is to uh, put a tune on the car. You know, I think when everything goes well it takes about 10 minutes. This guy got some More chimes. It's all normal. Sitting here, it'll sit here at 99% for a minute or two before it finalizes it. Okay, now it's clearing the DTC. I'll get rid of any error codes or anything you have. Okay. And then just follow what it says. Turn the key off. Turn the vehicle's key to off. Press continue. Simple enough. That's what we did. Now we're going to press continue. Center button is your enter button. Powering down vehicle. Okay. It says download complete. Tune has been programmed. Successful to your vehicle. Turn key off, which we've already done. So we're just gonna we're gonna hit uh, done here. Now you're really ready. I mean, you, this can be plugged in and left on. You can uh, make a data log uh, with this. And what we could do is actually look at some of the temperature sensors here. 
So I'm going to start the car up, make sure it starts. do now is uh, let's take a look at the gauges gauges data log to see that enter okay see all right this is if you were if you had the car off but we can we can just have it with the car on scanning a data log so now this is just some of the things that they have in a data log your speed. Fortunately, everything is in metric. Uh, so you have like your kilometer per hour. The RPM, luckily, is universal. So there's your RPM reading. Your ECT, 38 Celsius. IAT is 26 Celsius. That's the air coming in. The air coming into the intake. And a map pressure here, it's in KPA, kilopascal, and your math sensor is in hertz. Now if you wanted to do a data log, right before you get to do your pull, you can save one data log on this, here, on, on this SET tuner itself. You want to do more data logging and have multiple data logs before you download then you'd have to have a laptop attached to it which we don't have right now here so if i wanted to do a data log at this point you'd hit the center button which is the record button as well or the enter button now you'll, if you'll notice you'll see it says r you see in the middle now it's recording your data log so if you want to record a data log you sort of want to you know, do start it a few seconds or 20 seconds, 30 seconds before you're going to do your event, like a pull from zero to 100 or an eighth mile or a quarter mile pull, and then shut it off when you're done so that you don't have all this other data. It makes it harder to find your event in your data log that you're really trying to look at. So when you're done, you want to be finished data logging, you hit the button there. And then you can use the SCT Live software, connect up to your computer with a serial port, and it will locate your SCT tuner, and you tell it that you want to pull a data log from the tuner, and it will do that, and you can save it on your PC and then look at it using the, the Live software. Okay, we're going to shut this thing down. You'll notice that when we shut it down, everything's going to go, go down or off. And that's pretty much it. As far as recording a data log to the tuner itself. And putting a tune on the vehicle.